you are watching this video, there's a good chance you already know what ChatGPT and OpenAI are. But as a brief introduction for the newcomers, OpenAI is a company that developed GPT, a type of artificial intelligence model that is capable of generating human-like text. It uses a machine learning technique called pre-training to learn the statistical patterns of a large dataset and then fine-tunes it its knowledge uh, on a smaller dataset to perform a very specific task. And it is trained on a dataset with billions of elements, which includes a significant part of the internet web pages, books, and many more sources. GPT can be used for a variety of language based uh, tasks, such as language transition, summarization, question answering, and text generation. It can generate coherent and coherently structured paragraphs, articles, write entire books, uh, given a prompt or a topic. GPT has the ability to learn and adapt to new tasks very quickly, making it a very power powerful tool for natural language processing. Today we will talk about a very interesting integration between OpenAI and Rose and how to use it to clean datasets in a spreadsheet and basically turn your spreadsheets into a highly functional tool. In case you haven't yet set up rows with OpenAI, I would recommend you watch the short tutorial with the link here or check the description under the video. We will go through a couple of examples on how you can use this integration. Now for the first example, let's say you have a list of addresses but want to uh, split the zip code state and country code into the columns. Manually that would be a very tedious task. You can also try to use Excel formulas but still would need to research them and figure them out unless of course you are an expert in Excel. And with rows all you have to do is type a simple formula in the cell where you want to see each value. For zip code I will type ask OpenAI and then uh, basically you have to concatenate the prompt. So I will type concatenate the zip code, then cell where the value is and complete the formula with is in the end. The formula to use here will always be ask OpenAI and then inside the brackets you have the actual prompt. The reason we are concatenating uh, is because uh, there is a variable like the cell A2 that we would like to not be defined, so we can apply this formula easily to many cells and uh, bigger datasets. So let's try now this uh, formula to extract the zip code in a cell. And after the formula is complete, just click enter and you can see there's the zip code. Then you can simply drag the formula and you have the zip code for all the addresses. Now let's try the same, uh, but to extract uh, the state in column C. All you have to do is copy the same formula and only change the prompt to the state of. And there it is. GPT will understand what you are looking for and bring back the answer. We can do the same thing for country code too by repeating the process and just adjusting a little the prompt. Of course, uh, drag the formula and you will have it for, for the whole dataset. It is really simple and powerful. Now let's try to clean a messy dataset. In column A, uh, we have company names which don't have proper capitalization. So uh, what we will do is ask OpenAI, again, concatenate, capitalize the words in the following text, and then add the uh, point to the column A2. And you can see the data is cleaned in seconds. For the next example, we have a list of countries and you want to populate the next column with their capital cities. We will write ask OpenAI, again concatenate to build our prompt, and we'll say return the capital city of the country. And then say country with the column where the country is. In this case, it's A2. And you can see it brings up the capital city. Now we just drag the formula and the data set is complete. The possibilities here are infinite. Of course, these are very simple examples, but even these can really save a lot of time in your work. 
and if you get creative you will find a lot more ways to use this integration. Thank you for watching and remember to check out Rose, there is a link in the description. It is really helpful and brings your spreadsheets to another level.